Part 1. White Clouds. Red Wolf Moon. The Flame in the Darkness. Hoarfrost now graces treetops and open fields alike, and an icy chill blown in from the north of Fargus blankets the land. All of Fodland's creatures begin to settle in for a long winter. The setting sun bathes the full winter coat of every wolf in a foreboding scarlet glow. Hunters can now spread the word that the red wolves are back on the prowl. That's what we're dealing with. Is there no chance it's an infectious disease? There are no absolutes in medicine, but the chances are extremely slim. Restless movements, fits of violence, becoming bedridden, or even impossible to wake. With symptoms that varied, there are only a few possibilities. It's either a mixture of poisons or magic, and dark magic at that. You're talking about Ramire Village, aren't you, Manuela? Oh my, if it isn't Gerald. Tell me, what was the first thing you heard? Everything, after you mentioned that it's not likely an infectious disease. My child and I owe the people of Vermeer Village. If something's happening there, we must help them. We scouted the area ourselves. Speak with the Knights, hear what they have to say. I must go. Thank you for your help, Manuela. You know, I'm more than willing to go with you to Vermeer Village. After all, I owe you my life. If you'd like, I bet we could even manage the mission all by ourselves. Just the two of us. <laughs> Professor! A bit of a tease, are we? A girl could get used to this side of you. Nice try, but I'll be going to the village as well. Enough nonsense. It's time to move out. As you like. Goodbye, Gerald. Goodbye, Professor. I'll be in my office making preparations. What about you? If you have the time, it would be helpful if you could go ahead and talk to the Knights. Hey, what's wrong? If anything feels off, return to the infirmary. No need to just grin and bear it. Got it? Ugh, what could have caused such dizziness? I felt it too. Actually, I felt that way before. Bye. 
May I be asking a question? I am appreciating your answer. Professor! You look unwell. It's because of what happened, isn't it? Don't speak of it aloud. You can't change the past. For now, all we can do is use it to our advantage. I know that. I also know that I must steel myself to ascend the Imperial Throne. Those preparations are going well. We... Uh, someone is coming. Professor, I heard about our mission for this month. Something terrible is happening in Ramire Village. That's where you were when fate sent you our way. This feels... Preordained. Are the knights making progress with their investigation? If what is happening there is by design, there must be someone pulling the strings. There is the Death Knight, of course, and the mysterious mages who were implicated with the Western Church. They showed up when Flame was kidnapped as well, and now there is another strange occurrence near the monastery. It seems an unknown organization hopes to make the monastery its stage for something. Do you believe that all these incidents are connected, Professor? That is the logical conclusion, but I'm not so sure. It certainly appears that all of the events surrounding the monastery are connected by a single thread. However, I think it's possible that it may just be a result of different motives overlapping. Remember, Professor, if you think of people as simply enemies or allies, it may be impossible to grasp the truth. I am happy that you invited me, even though it interferes with my nap time. Much appreciated. Smells good. was delicious. It feels good to relax. Well, I'm off to catch a nap. We will have great success. We will take no time at all. Amazing, no? I am closing in on expertise. Never have learned this back in my room. Good day, Ferdinand. Working on your armor again? Good day to you, too. That is right. I have been overusing it a bit lately. Now, allow me to wager a guess. Are you feeling hungry, as usual? As usual? It is not as though I am always searching for a meal. I just... I am rather interested in armor. Do you mind if I peer over your shoulder while you work? Of course not. Please, feel free to observe. Thank you for allowing me the pleasure. Ooh, so many different types. Wow! Helmets, armor, gauntlets... The range of defensive items seems innumerable. This one seems different from the rest of them. It is akin to a gauntlet, except 
Flane, careful! Huh? Oh! Flane, are you alright? Did you injure yourself? I am well. But what was that? That could have been serious. Uh, please forgive me. I should have warned you first. Uh, this is a new type of gauntlet with a spring-loaded blade over the knuckles. The mechanism is rather easily triggered. Uh, how foolish of me not to warn you. No, I am the one who was overly curious and reached out without permission. My apologies. But, um, when you snatched me out of harm's way, you, er, uh, you embraced me quite tightly. Ah, uh, yes. You were in danger and my instincts simply took hold. I hope you will forgive my rashness. No, it is not that at all. It is just... You hugged me so tight. Uh, did it hurt? I am so sorry, Flane. I did not mean to cause you any discomfort. Not at all. Not, not in the slightest. Anyway, I had better be on my way. Such a delicate creature. And that sweet demeanor. Ah, snap out of it, Ferdinand. May I suggest Vermilion instead? Vermilion? I know, I see it. You don't have to say it. I've got no talent at all. I said nothing about your talent. I simply suggested Vermilion over Crimson. Do you know Vermilion? It's just a softer shade of Crimson. I believe it would... Oh, forget it. This is your artistic vision and I am but a meddler. I am going to read my book and leave you to your art. It's fine. Say what you want to say. It's good advice. I'll use Vermilion. Thank you. Well, I'd best be heading back. Phew! Finally done! I think. All finished? Uh, please, don't look at it! Everything looks a bit faded, doesn't it? Ironically, Crimson may have been a better choice after all. The sense of distance on the petals is a little strange. Perhaps you should pay closer attention to such details as you paint. A preliminary sketch would do wonders. Still, it... Oh, forget my pedantic comments. You really do have potential. <sighs> Bernadetta? Oh, idiot! Hopeless! A waste of charm! Just burn the whole thing, Bernie! Break your stupid brushes and never paint again! Huh. Perhaps I should have kept my thoughts to myself. so, but being here makes me feel quite unwell. I am so sleepy and a bit. It is a struggle merely to stay conscious. Are you feeling the same? Why must you be so difficult? I know the entire contents of your heart and soul, so you should know there is no fooling me.
day, Professor. Well then, I should go. Remire Village. Is that not where you met Edelgard? If you had not been there, something terrible could have happened. Did one of the house leaders know that mercenaries were staying in Remire Village? I wonder. It will remain a mystery for now. All we can do at this point is speculate. Your medicine and magical healing are two ways to do the same thing, but it's way deeper than that. Medicine is all about preventing infection and suppressing symptoms with, well, medicine. That's probably obvious. But magical healing is focused on closing up wounds faster, raising a body's vital energy, stuff like that. Professor, did you see that my father came by during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? He left soon after, but I saw him talking to Edelgard first. I wonder what they could have to talk about. I guess that would make sense. He is the Minister of Military Affairs after all. Still though, I could have sworn those two didn't get along. to catch me some mighty fish. Just you wait and see. I didn't catch a single fish last month. But this month, oh, this month. I'm casting my line just as the captain taught me all those years ago. You're going with the captain to investigate Ramire Village soon, aren't you? It feels like so long ago that you two came here. Hey, Professor, can I get your advice on something? I just don't know what to do anymore. I used to think they were the best, but now I can't even stand looking at them. <sighs> Good point, Professor. I think I need to see other meats right now. Then I can come back to fish when I'm good and ready. They say that things rarely, if ever, go according to plan. Still, plan we must. After all, if we don't effectively force things to go our way, nothing will be achieved. How about you, Professor? Are you leading the life you envisioned for yourself? That's surprising. But I suppose it's possible you're telling the truth. Hey! When news reached us of the disturbance, Ours was the first unit dispatched to Remire. We had renowned scholars and accomplished magic wielders with us. In all honesty, I was scared witless the entire time. For all we knew, it was an epidemic like the rumor suggested. And rumors aside, that place had an eerie air about it that chilled you right to the bone. Investigating Remire Village? Be on your guard. You know, Professor, the tournament fish, and the meal we indulged in after the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? Why, all of the food I've eaten in this monastery has been absolutely delectable. Every last bite of it. <laughs> food really is the only thing you think about, huh? <laughs> Hardly. I think about all sorts of things. Oh, like tomorrow's menu, for instance? You know, why... <laughs> oh. I have a request.
What? <laughs> hmm. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Oh, except that Tomas departed the monastery and has yet to return. Consider that reported. He's been gone for periods of time before and has always returned, so I'm not too worried. Still, I wonder what in the world he's doing out there. Is that so? I'm worried about Remire. That affliction is a little too mysterious for my liking. I'm pretty sure it's not normal. Then what could it be? No deal. Hey, Professor, I'd love to catch... Hey, how about a favor? Maybe... Hey! Congratulations on winning the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Did you get a special reward? I certainly feel like I earned a special reward. Don't you, Professor? Oh, disappointing. Professor? Do you have time for a request? <laughs> oh, 
Ah, Professor! The Battle of the Eagle and Lion was such good fun, don't you think? Ignatz, how long are you going to keep harping on about the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? Oh, come on, let me gush! Did you see how the house leaders came together after the battle? What an incredible thing to witness. Harmony, even after something so hard fought. True. If they can keep playing nice, perhaps there will be peace in Fodlin after all. Hmm. The librarian is always out and about these days. And just when I had some questions about a book I'd borrowed. Ugh, now I'm so curious about where he's gone off to. He better come back soon. I am so happy to be part of your class, Professor. I honestly cannot recall the last time I interacted with others on a daily basis like this. It reminds me of when I was a child. <laughs> that was so very long ago now. Oh, I mean, very. Very, very, very long ago. What? Need something, Professor? I was just asking Monica here to be less demanding of Lady Edelgard's time. Hey, it's not like I'm bothering her. Sorry for the ruckus, Professor. Please don't worry about it too much. Nothing to worry about here. Uh, I wish you would worry about it a little more. Hmm. This... This is my first time working with THE Gerald. The legend known across the ages as the Blade Breaker. And I get to see him with my own eyes. That means I have to try my absolute hardest. <sighs> Ramire village from some of the knights. It's certainly troubling. If it's a contagion, we at Garrick Mock should be on the lookout as well. Your words are oddly persuasive, Professor, even if they're not exactly based on anything. I get it. Ramire village is an empire territory, but it's still relatively close to the monastery. Oh, but you know all about that, don't you? The story goes that it was in Ramire village that Alois found you. Five years since I started here, this is certainly the busiest. It was four. I've been here five. Ah, what's a year here or there? Don't be petty now, Shamir. You count your enemies the same way. If I take care of them quickly, what does it matter how many there are? Oh, sorry. We didn't mean to ignore you, Professor. As you were saying, it's been a busy year. There never seemed to be enough hands for the work. That reminds me. Do you have that thing? If you do, we want it. Want? No, we need it. Give it to me, not her. 
Hey now, I'm the one who brought it up. We may be friends, but that's just rude. I have a favor to ask. The, it was ah, you can't if I t as you that want hey now hey you do me a favor professor professor you seem unwell how are you faring if you're not feeling well I'd strongly recommend some rest let me consider. Professor, tell me, is this about Ramaya? There are more villagers acting strangely today than yesterday. Knights have been dispatched, yet the underlying cause is as yet unclear. And the most anyone can do is stand back and watch. It is most distressing. Professor, what do you think about all this? If it were indeed a disease, why would it only affect the villagers and not infect the knights stationed there? Hmm. Professor, what have you got there? That's... My goodness, that is just what I've been looking for! I can offer nothing more than this, but I do ask that you consider trading with me. I am in your debt, Professor. we might make it through last month in peace. But no, another incident just had to arise, didn't it? If only this debacle had to do with crests, why, I'd have gone and dealt with it in an instant. Professor. How are you feeling, Professor? You look rather ill, if you don't mind my saying so. Are you sick? If so, I would urge you not to push yourself too hard. Take some rest. Just my natural talent, nothing out of the ordinary. Enough wit now. You should lie down. Right. During the Red Wolf Moon, wild monsters make ready for the winter to come, stirring more than at any other time of the year. You are off for Ramire Village, isn't that right? Watch your step on that journey. May the Goddess protect all of you. Okay. Professor, let me sing for you. Do you not like my voice? It would make a Pegasus dance with joy! They won't notice if one person doesn't sing, will they? <laughs> Bernadetta? Bernadetta? If you have a moment, I would like to discuss what happened before. I am not here to hurt you. You need not even open the door. Just listen to me. I don't have to open the door? Is this a truce? Okay, okay, I like truces. Thank you. I would like to apologize for sticking my nose into your business the way I did. I thought you might be unhappy all cooped up in there, and that maybe I could help. But I've had time to reflect on what you said, and I realize I was mistaken. Oh, um... Thanks for caring, but I'm fine, actually. I see that. I suppose that is what I'm trying to say. I should not have pushed you to do something that you did not wish to do. And for me to frighten you like that? That was unbecoming conduct for a noble. Maybe a little bit. Frankly, I am embarrassed by my behavior. I disgraced myself. 
As for my injury, you need not feel guilty or afraid. The sprain was a result of my own thoughtlessness, not anything you did. I have always strived to be a good person, but I suppose all that striving was for nothing. I have failed in my duty as a noble. Um, Ferdinand? Yes, Bernadetta? I don't really know much about this sort of thing, but you shouldn't say things like that about yourself. It wasn't all your fault, you know. I'm to blame too. I hurt you, and I'm sorry. Really, it is fine. It healed quickly. And it wasn't for nothing either. I am not so sure. I do like my time alone. Actually, it's more of a need. But you're right. I also need to venture out every once in a while. Maybe if I work as hard as you do, I can try it a little more. Yes, keep working at it. You are already much more outgoing than you used to be. When I mess up, or even when it's just a bad day, it's hard for me to step outside. I'm too scared. But the next day, I try again, because I know that one mistake doesn't ruin everything. So you're still... I mean, just because you... That doesn't mean... <sighs> I don't know how to put it, but that's how it is. So, um, the end. <laughs> what a graceful end to the conversation. Hey! Come on, that was serious! <sighs> At least I got you to laugh. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm. You do not look well. Are you sure you aren't coming down with a cold or some other ailment? Please, visit a doctor before your situation worsens. I suppose the infirmary is also an option. Though when I went there the other day, I was unable to receive medical guidance, as Professor Manuela was drunk and fast asleep on the floor. I could use your help. the coldest time of year. Pardon me. Hmm. Hey! Huh. What is it? I'm in the middle of my daily duties. I assume you know by now that the Four Saints are all important figures in the teachings of Saros. Still, I have a particular fondness for St. Sethleen. I have something to ask of you. of mysteriousness. I have awareness of how much difference every part of the world is. In a place alike to this place, you can imagine the goddess of Fodlin truly existing. At times I miss those places in Bridget. At times, I am missing those places so painfully. Professor! Professor, 
Do you ever wish you could return to your life as a mercenary? Is that so? I suppose you have become accustomed to your new line of work. This month's assignment will again take you outside of Garrick Mach. To Ramire Village. It was in Ramire that you first met Alois and the rest of his order, was it not? Half a year has come and gone since then. How quickly time passes. I appreciate this. It was half a year. I appreciate. I appreciate. I appreciate. It was half a year. I appreciate. I appreciate. Oh. It was half a year. I appreciate. I appreciate. It was half a year. I appreciate. Hello, Professor. It is so nice to see you here. It brings me great joy to know that you wish to visit with me again. I have this odd feeling that recently you've been trying to avoid me. I am relieved to hear that. In any case, I am delighted by this opportunity to speak with you again. <laughs> My, how laughable I must seem. I imagine you must be dumbstruck by how unbecoming my behavior is for the Archbishop of all of Fodlan. Oh, please do not waste your apologies on me. I am perhaps oversensitive. But thank you all the same. You are very kind. In any case, how are you feeling? Have you experienced anything strange since you began wielding the Sword of the Creator? I am glad. There are so many legends about that blade, I was worried that carrying it may result in some strange side effect. Has there really been nothing odd? A tightness in your chest? Strange dreams? Anything of the sort? So you saw a young girl, and she appeared to you like a phantom? I'm afraid I can't explain such an occurrence, but may very well have something to do with that relic of yours. Please know that you are welcome to come to me about anything. I am here for you, always. By the way, when I see you at work giving such splendid guidance to all of your students, I want you to know that it brings me great joy, as though I myself am receiving the benefit of your kindness. Gerald just told me. Remire Village is in a bad way, right? The situation there is worrying, yes. But tell me, how was your vertigo? Were you not feeling okay? You seem fine to me. I hope you're not just saying that. We can't have you putting on a brave face, only to fall in battle. The Knights go out from Garrig Mach to take on all kinds of other duties. I'd sure like a job like that one day. Then again, I don't know. Serving Lady Rhea here is pretty good. Well... Maybe... I wonder how Remyer Village is faring. Hopefully we're not dealing with some new epidemic. It wouldn't be unheard of. Almost 20 years ago, a terrible plague blazed through Fargus. It even hit the capital city, taking the queen consort's life. Or so I heard. The whole kingdom was in an uproar over that loss. 
The person who saved the kingdom wasn't a doctor, but a holy woman, the fair Lady Cornelia. After that, she was awarded the honor of being a mage in the service of the royal family. She sounds like an amazing woman, but she must be pretty old by now. But hey, maybe she's aged like a fine wine. Professor! I fear I may become a social recluse soon. My life consists of wearing a groove in the floor between the library and the dining hall. Although I guess a real recluse wouldn't leave their room, eh? That would be me if you weren't my teacher. Locked away in my room, reading, napping, never to be seen. You know, I never see Bernadetta outside of class. I wonder what it is that she does in her room all day. Teach. What in the world is happening in Remire Village? I hear even the knights have been dispatched. I hope it's nothing too serious. After all, that's where we first met. I have valued memories of the place. Let me have that. Here, I'll give you this in return. Fantastic! Thanks, Professor. You have no idea how happy this makes me. Professor, I picked this up, but... Oh, hey! It worked out perfectly! Want to trade me what you're holding for it? Thanks, Professor! This is great! you've got there. Would you mind trading it with me for this? Oh, thank you so much. I'll be sure to take great care of it. Hmm. 
professor. Huh. Well done. You have my thanks. Too much of a bother. Would you trade it for this? Thank you so much. I'll treasure it forever. That's a nice thing you have there, Professor. Don't suppose you're planning on using it yourself. Why don't you trade it for this? Sounds good, right? Excellent doing business with you, Professor. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. and I'll make it worth your while. How? You can't even afford your own drinks. Give it here. You won't regret it. Excuse me? I asked first. Why don't we let the professor decide? Seems the professor likes you better than me. Thanks. Here's your prize. Maybe I'll let you borrow it later, Shamir. I knew I could count on you. While I have little interest in food, I will admit to a weakness for this one dish. I would be liking that greatly. Oh, I love this meal. How did you know? 
Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste. Hmm. Looking out toward Bridget, are you? Yes. There are some times I cannot stop my thoughts from going home. It will be much time before I return. Bridget feels... far away. It is quite a long way. To say nothing of the sea that lies between here and there, being unable to return must further add to the distance in your mind. It is as you say. When I return to Bridget, I will be the new queen. I am wishing to help relations with the Empire. I believe you will be successful. You may not be Lady Edelgard's equal, but you are resourceful enough to make an excellent queen. And unlike Lady Edelgard, you will not be forced to harden your heart. Not Edelgard's equal? Is that what you are saying? Understand that I mean no disrespect by this. But it is a fact that you are far beneath her. Make no mistake about what would happen if you were to raise your banner in revolt against her. She would crush you mercilessly. That is not a difference of equal... of... equality. It is a difference of power. Even if our homelands were on equal footing, Lady Edelgard would still prevail. I can see with clarity the difference between me and Lady Edelgard. But that has no matter. I would never lose. <laughs> How amusing. For your sake, you had better hope you are right. This is my favorite. I am rather happy you went out of your way to pick it, Professor. This is nearly as delicious as Mother's cooking. I would happily eat this every day. a scrumptious meal like that, I feel that I can really seize the day. Ah, oh, I can eat so much of this stuff. My stomach's growling just thinking about it. I am still. I, 
Ayo. Ayo. We will do a beautiful job, I am sure. This won't be difficult if we do it together. Amazing, no? I'm getting closer. I'm a quick study. Hey there. Ugh. Oh. This is my favorite. I am rather happy you went out of your way to pick it, Professor. I think I like this, but it's been a while, so I'm not sure. Delicious! After a scrumptious meal like that, I feel that I can really seize the day. Ah, oh, I can eat so much of this stuff. My stomach's growling just thinking about it. Always taste best when it is a company of three or more at the table. Do you not enjoy eating when it's just the two of us? You wound me, Flame. While I have little interest in food, I will admit to a weakness for this one dish. Ooh, this is my favorite! You've got great taste! miss the food of your homeland, Petra. I wish there was a way to get some for you. I have gratitude for your kindness. But it is okay. I am liking the food of Fodlin.
nice today. So, uh, d it's, uh, really nice weather we're having, isn't it? Indeed. Did you want something? I just, uh, I'm really sorry. I can't accept your apology until I know what it's for. Oh, good point. I'm sorry I said you were terrifying. Is that all? I'm used to that. No apology necessary. B but you've been avoiding me since then, right? You even stopped doing your deathly grin. I am merely trying not to frighten you. Is there something wrong with that? Um, it's not working. And yes, there is. You can't quit talking and laughing just to try to make me feel better. That's not really fair. I need to master my own fear. Is that right? Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You told me not to forego laughing, so I laughed as hard as I could. Is it helping to conquer your fear? Yes. I mean, someday it might... maybe... voices are all over the place. We must learn to work together in harmony. They won't notice if one person doesn't sing, will they? <laughs> Bernadetta. I appreciate all the effort you're making to overcome your fear of me. Your dedication is commendable. However... I'm just getting in your way, aren't I? I knew it, Bernie. You're just an intruder. Nobody wants you around. Stupid! Oh. Bernadetta. Yes? The problem you keep running into is that you don't listen to what people are really saying. That's why your efforts are in vain. You need to listen instead of jumping to your own conclusions. Are you listening to me? Yes! Then why aren't you responding? Um, I wanted to listen until you were finished. Uh, sorry, were you finished then? I was. Then may I please scream now? By all means. But please try to make it a fairly quiet one. Just a tiny one? <sighs> um, wait, what was I upset about again? That's weird. I forgot why I was about to scream, and now I don't even need to. What a nice feeling! You're trying your best. I know that. But even so... But, but what? What did I do this time? I'm so sorry! Whatever it is! I'll go to my room and never bother you again! Wait! You didn't let me finish! I was only going to say that... What is highest still? It is all. The battlefield has much to teach. You're in... I am... I have under- 
doorstep. After a scrumptious meal like that, I feel that I can really seize the day. This is my favorite. I am rather happy you went out of your way to pick it, Professor. Amazing, no? Enlightening. Linhart, there you are. Observant as ever, Ferdinand. What can I help you with? You have been utilizing clever tricks to give me the slip. But not today. Prepare yourself! A noble cannot escape from his duty. Hold these words in your heart. It seems you really mean it this time. I suppose I have no choice but to outmatch you. Finally, a little enthusiasm. You are bravely stepping upon the path of nobility. Let us begin! Come now, Ferdinand. Don't be foolish. I can't possibly train with you. I have places to be. Wait! I will not allow you to get away! I, I can't. I can't run anymore. Just admit defeat. Can't we? Just a minute. Ferdinand, let me, let me catch my breath. Well, maybe just for a moment. I could use a rest myself. I am surprised you could run so far. I had assumed that all that lounging around would have dulled your constitution. But I had a difficult time keeping up. The fear of having to exert myself really helped. You're none too slow yourself. It's been a while since I ran like that. It actually feels pretty good. It does, does it not? Well, how about we say that thrilling chase was your training for the day? If you will excuse me, I am going to run even more, so I can catch you next time. After all the running you already did, that's our Ferdinand. You always give everything your all, don't you? <laughs> and what is wrong with that? Nothing whatsoever, Ferdinand. I mean that. Hmm, what was that name again? Oh, this is frustrating me to no end. I simply can't recall. Oh, I have it. Xanado. That's it. It was not long ago that we were there. And still, I somehow managed to forget. Well... That place brought back some fragments of my memory. I cannot help but wonder why. I feel we must return to find some answers there. Yes, you are right. For as the saying goes, there is no time like the present. Hmm. Our professor is sneaking off alone. 
Where to, I wonder? I don't recall hearing of any such plans for our class. Perhaps we should follow. Intrigued, are we? Yes, let's do just that. We will consider it extra training. Yes, it is all coming back to me. This structure... Oh, but it's as though my memories are clouded. The most important pieces are obscured. But I once called this home. I have no doubt. I seem to recall something... on the other side of that wall. I cannot see it, but I can still feel it. It is not my imagination. I know this to be true. We are already deep within this valley. <laughs> oh, what was that awful sound? Yes, and that was not a normal beast, but a huge and terrifying one. Look, there, at the entrance of the valley, a giant shadow! choice but to fight our way out. Give it your all! It's good we've caught up with the Professor, but this situation is hard to put into words, actually. Wolves to the front, hawks to the rear, and what appears to be a demonic beast at the canyon's mouth. A wild beast at that. Or perhaps it's more fitting to call it a stray. If we can't prevail over that demonic beast, we won't make it out of the Red Canyon alive. The first thing we need to do is reunite with our professor. The wolves are closing in. Stay focused. I will prevail! It's a long road yet. Let us away.
does pay off. That's my cue. <laughs> Appreciate it. I want to be all I can. Ugh. If only my research had such results. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Put me in there! As you wish. That really helped!
I still have a long way to go. in on expertise. More hawks. This is bad. We'll be caught from both sides.
Miss Bridget Pride. I am greater now. I will prevail! Oh! So much better. Thanks so much. Step at a time. I'm getting closer. Sweet of you. Let's use our heads.
strength. Greatness awaits me. Let us put an end to its suffering. I think that is the most honorable thing we can do at this point. Disappointing. its own. You must now strike it down. That is the best you can hope to offer this poor lost soul. It's over. <laughs> Such power dwells within. Practice yields results. You see? Our work is done. My, my. Things did not go as planned. Let us return before any more hawks or wolves join us. But what was that demonic beast doing within the Red Canyon? I'm glad that you are safe, Professor. It was rather reckless of you to venture out alone like that. I suppose we came out here without permission, too. If we all wish to avoid punishment, perhaps we can all agree that we came out here for an extracurricular activity. Let's leave it at that. Still, I would like to know what brought you to this valley in the first place. Oh dear! I put us in a bit of danger there! <laughs> 
We are most fortunate that those delinquents followed us. You very nearly met your end. <laughs> what a marvelous professor you must be for all your students to be so concerned. You seem more confident in your ability to teach. But that makes sense, as you have me to help you out. <sighs> How disappointing to have dived so deeply into danger, and yet to have nothing to show. <gasps> what is this strange feeling? My memories. Do you feel them stirring? How curious. You seem to have grown stronger. And all thanks to our journey to Xanado. It really was worth all that effort. Huh? You found this? I dare say you may find a use for that. You should decide how best to use that thing. But wow, we got a lot out of this trip. It was a bother for a spell, but in the end, I feel we should think fondly of our little trip. We actually had a delightful time, wouldn't you say? <laughs> One more success. I am greater now. That's my cue. <sighs> Appreciate it. Let us away. I will prevail. Put me in there. Oh no. Stay focused. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. As you wish. And 
didn't even enjoy it. Worked hard for nothing. Flame Spirit, protect me. Jump. Your skill is impressive. Huh. Victory. I could have been sleeping this whole time. Oh! 
was inevitable. One step at a time. Take me seriously. You were wide open. You're in good form. Greatness awaits me. For Lady Edelgard. I'd rather be napping. Get ahead of myself. I think I'm improving. Thank you. Caspar, I have been waiting. Ferdinand, waiting for what? I am going to give you a lesson on the righteous path of the noble. Righteous path? What? You have a problem with my path now? We think you're more righteous than me? That remains to be seen. I heard you stopped a robbery in town the other day. Some despicable thief was robbing an elderly shopkeeper. Rumor has it you didn't wreak as much havoc as usual. Hey now, I think you're underestimating me here. When the thief showed up, the old shopkeeper was so scared that he could barely stand. I didn't want the guy to pass out, so I had to stay calm while handling the situation. Rather than fighting, I gave my own money to the thief and told him to get out of there. Or else. How, uh, magnanimous of you. The thief fell for it and left the shop. That's when I chased him down. I got my money back and gave that thief a good beating. He won't be back here anytime soon. Ah, so you walloped the scoundrel. That does sound like you. I am finding this story more plausible. Nevertheless, I think... Hold on. <laughs> now it's your turn. I heard a very interesting story about you recently. My turn, eh? Let's hear this story then. The way I heard it, you punched a foreign soldier right in the middle of town. Stop, stop. I know what you are getting at. But you have the wrong idea. Let's hear your version then. I had been browsing for weapons at a rundown stall. Suddenly, a man seized the stall's owner and started dragging him away. Someone with a less generous spirit might say the peddler had it coming. His wares were quite inferior after all, but without a moment's hesitation, I leapt to his aid and soundly defeated the goon. 
Well done. Sounds exciting. It was nothing, really. Anyway, the old shopkeeper let me in on the details. He said that he was a novice trader, tricked by a noble into selling low-quality goods. That ruse was about to come to light, so the noble had sent a mercenary to keep the shopkeeper silent. So that's what really happened. I just heard you snapped and attacked some noble servant. I figured it was worth asking about. Well, I won't deny it. I forgot my rank for a moment and let my instincts take over. Is there something wrong with that? It sounds a little like something I would do. And your, uh, gentle approach to handling that robbery. That sounds like something I might do. You were not overcome by your impulses. You kept a cool head. For the most part. I think we're starting to rub off on each other. Always looking for a way to defend justice and to lift each other up. Partners in justice, eh? Well now, that I can agree to. Why am I having so much trouble fighting these tall guys? They're not even stronger than me. You've got to help me come up with a strategy, Linhart. Is that not a waste of time? Even if I handed you a perfect strategy, something I've done in the past, you'd never follow it through. That's because your plans are always so complicated. But come on, I need your help. All right, I will share with you my tactical genius. I call this my secret plan. You already have a plan? <laughs> you really are ready for anything. So, what is it? Land the first hit. Then keep hitting them hard and fast as you can until they stop hitting you back. So you're basically telling me to just fight? Dodge their attacks, keep up the assault, then go for the knees. Done. The secret is the knees? Being tall means short people are closer to your knees. Exploit the enemy's weakness, Kaspar. Makes sense. That doesn't sound like my style, though. I don't really want to exploit a weakness. Then go ahead and continue losing. Or you can listen to the rest of my plan. There's more? Fine, then tell me the rest. Your defense is careless. The last bit of my secret is that you need to train in that area. I won't argue with training. Let's go! No, I don't think we should... Come on! You've even got that height advantage you're always going on about. You're the perfect training partner for me. Quit stalling and let's go! <sighs> Fine. I'll train with you, but only for a bit. All right, Linhart. Come at me again! Uh, Caspar, please. I need... I need water. I need water. I'm going to... Gotta go get some. Bye. Huh? Hey! Get back here! Hm. He got away. We've got to go, now. The situation in Ramire Village has changed drastically. We don't know much more than that. We're hearing reports that the villagers are killing each other. Some say houses are burning. Regardless, we need to move. Kill! Kill! Oh. 
on here? This is horrific. It's even more revolting. More terrible than I expected. Yes, we must find a way to save this village. True. But if we are not careful about how we proceed, we will only increase the death toll. The villagers are attacking each other. Let's knock them all out one by one. Always so reckless. You do know that if we mess up, we will either kill or be killed, right? Still, we cannot just stand here twiddling our thumbs and doing nothing. I'd r really like to go home now. But there's no time for thoughts like that. We have to help them. I am waiting for your orders with full readiness. Wait. Those people over there, they seem to be observing the chaos. They must be behind this. Eliminate them and rescue all of the unafflicted villagers. There are some suspicious looking ruffians out there, but our top priority is to rescue the villagers. Got it? I'll rein in the villagers who've turned violent. You focus on rescuing the others. I will prevail. I will get the victory. Kill! Kill! Stay focused. I am Ferdinand von Eyer.
One giving commands in the back. I'm certain that's Tomas the Librarian.
What are you doing here? Dare I even ask? I'm not Tomas. My name is Solon, the savior of all! What's the matter? So shocked you can't even speak. <laughs> you were so easily fooled by my disguise. I was hiding away in Derek Mach to get the blood of that little girl called Flame. With her blood, we'll be one step closer to realizing our goal. I'll have a bit of fun here, too. That's the Death Knight. He must be an ally of Tomas, or Solon, or whoever he is.
Thank you. Battlefield has much to teach. Yeah, it worked. chance to grow.
bit disappointing. Rescued as many as we can. Now it's time to capture Sol. Thank you. 
What are you trying to do here? You're the one who should be answering that question. Stay out of my way. was just a distraction. Let's concentrate on killing Solon. You are but a savage, insignificant beast. Yet you think you can kill me? getting started why have you gone after this village what are you planning huh. I could have conducted this experiment on any test subjects now that I have what I came for I must bid you farewell wait damn it he's gone we let him get away I'll survey the village there may still be enemies in hiding Looks like we somehow managed to sort things out, and casualties were kept to a minimum. They said they weren't picky about who they used as their test subjects. Because of them, the people of Ramayar Village. There you are. That armor. So, you're the Flame Emperor. Yes. I believe you have met my subordinate, the Death Knight. Oh, we've met all right. But back to you. You're the one responsible for the destruction of this village. Do not get the wrong idea. What in blazes does that mean? It is true that I am working with Solon, but that does not mean our objectives are the same. Had I known they planned to do this, I would have stopped it. You have my word. Your words are meaningless. Now... I'll have to insist that you accompany us back to the monastery. I cannot abide that. However, if you wish to join forces, I will hear your plea. What? If left to their own devices, they will commit countless more violent acts like this one. Do you not wish to prevent that? With the sword of the Creator on our side, Solon would not be a threat. Pity though not unexpected. Pray that you do not live to regret your choice. Gerald, Professor, have you seen Lady Edelgard? What's wrong, kid? Huh? Oh, damn it! He's gone. Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. Since coming to the monastery, you've changed. You've been angry since we first arrived in Ramire Village, and you look so happy when you're instructing the brats. 
Before the monastery? I'd never seen you bear your emotions like that. Not once. Then perhaps it's a good thing we came to the monastery. If only so I could see your face lit up like that. Or maybe there was never any reason for us to leave the monastery in the first place. Ah, uh, I've put my foot in my mouth, haven't I? Though I suppose it may be nearly that time. Come to my office when you next have a moment to spare. There's something I need to tell you. Just what was that about? I can't recall a time of old when you were at the monastery. I wonder what is hiding in the mist that is your past. Professor, I don't know if this is appropriate to say, but admirable work out there. I really believe we did all that we could. No mortal is all-powerful. We must try to stay positive, even through the horror. I hear the so-called Flame Emperor appeared in Remire Village as well. Hubert told me that you spoke with him. Really? Is that what you want, Professor? That makes sense. It's hard to trust someone without knowing who they are, or how they're connected to all this. Even if he wants you as an ally, his objectives are still unclear. If the Flame Emperor truly wishes to make use of your power, perhaps someday he will appear before you without his mask, and you can look in his eyes and decide what you believe. Adel, I need to ask you something. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I interrupt? No, not at all. If you'll excuse me, Professor. You did well handling that awful business in Umayyar village. I am certain the Goddess shares in our grief at the senselessness of that calamity. More importantly, I was shocked to hear that our own Tomas was actually a dark mage. I must reflect on our blindness. You surely must. You failed to notice that a rat was hiding in your home. Pathetic! Who are these wicked foes? How did Tomas escape your gaze? Tomas came to the monastery 40 years ago, by recommendation of House Ordelia of the Alliance. Around eight years ago, he went back to House Ordelia, before returning to the monastery once again just last year. After having worked at Garrig Mach for decades, why would he betray us now? Just what did he hope to accomplish? Yuritsa became a professor at the Officers' Academy because of a recommendation from the Imperial nobility. Supposing that he is the Death Knight, that means that our enemy is an organization that has taken root in at least two territories. In the long history of the Church of Seros, no, long before even that, there have been an endless number of threats to the peace of Fodlan. Yet those who oppose us still operate in the shadows. Their identity is a mystery. I believe that Solon and the Death Knight are merely one part of a much larger whole. A threat to Fodlin's peace? That means we have no choice. We have to stop them all. I have truly come to rely on you. I believe that the monastery will remain safe so long as we have you. We do not yet know the enemy's objective or whereabouts. For now, please devote yourself to preparing for whatever comes next. That is all for today. Professor, please wait. I know there is much that you still do not understand. However, one thing is clear. You possess great power. I believe that you are destined to be a source of great hope for all. In any case, I expect great things from you. Walk this world proudly, dear Professor. May the Goddess Sothis protect you. The Goddess Sothis? Is that what she just said? Is something the matter? I see. In that case, farewell. Do not 
say something that we may regret. She... I... What exactly am I? For now, let's leave this place. Please, go.